Welcome to the Mint Report, our wrap-up of the day's business news. Here are the top stories. UMPPs may not benefit from proposed pooling of coal prices. SEBI will have to answer fresh questions on two Sahara Group companies. And markets end a mixed day of trade with little change. First up, Coal India may be planning to pool the prices of Indian and foreign coal. But two major power projects may not benefit. The so-called ultra-mega power projects or UMPPs run by Tata Power and Reliance Power have been left out of a list drawn up by the Central Electricity Authority. The only projects included are coastal ones, both private and public. Tata Power is building a UMPP in Mundra in Gujarat and Reliance Power is setting up one in Krishnapatnam in Andhra Pradesh. Both companies own coal mines in Indonesia but are paying high prices after that country imposed new taxes. Moving on, there's a fresh development in the case involving two Sahara Group companies. The Securities Appellate Tribunal has asked markets regulator SEBI to explain why it hasn't accepted documents provided by the two Sahara companies. It has given SEBI a deadline of two weeks. Sahara India Real Estate and Sahara Housing Investment warned the deadline to submit all documents to be extended to the 31st of January. But Sahara says it has not formally asked SEBI for an extension of the deadline. Earlier, the Supreme Court had directed the two companies to refund 24,000 crores at a 15% interest to their investors. The court was upholding a SEBI decision which said the two companies had made a public issue without following the rules. And finally, it was a mixed session for markets on Monday, with the Sensex advancing and the Nifty dropping slightly. The Sensex closed trade with a gain of 30 points to close at 18,339, and the Nifty dropped 3 points to 5,571. The Sensex was tugged upwards by a rally in shares of Bharti Airtel after more brokerages upgraded it. The stock rose 2.89% of the BSE to 310. Another gainer was Maruti Suzuki, which advanced 3.87% on hopes of strong sales in what remains of the festive season. And that's all we have for you. Thanks for watching.